back with another video uh who's ready to pick on jugmeet singh again he's he just keeps giving us these little christmas early christmas gifts when every time he posts on twitter or posts a video anytime he has an interview or speaks or thinks he just keeps embarrassing himself so we got a couple things here to go over um first thing is just a little video we got here now before we get into that please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help grow the channel and also leave your comments in the comment section as well so here we have Jugmeet Singh, and he's talking about how Pierre Polyev will tear down healthcare brick by brick, very dramatic, until the only way you will get healthcare is if you can pay for it. Everything he does is designed to take from you and give the ultra and give to the ultra wealthy. We're going to stop him. Well, you're not going to, but okay. Let's uh, let's let's hear him out here. So we got a quick little video. Uh, we'll get into that, and then we'll talk about it like after. Like usual, like uh, we'll talk about it after, like usual. Pierre Polyev will take from patients, from families. He will cut and gut Medicare as we know it. Not only will he cancel dental care, which is now giving millions of families and seniors the opportunity to get the dental care they need. I'm sorry to pause it. I just, the liberal said it was 750000 other liberals said it was 650,000. Now it's millions. Oops, looks like they got caught in another lie just by spewing off these big numbers that they are wanting to sell to Canadians but don't actually exist. I've, I've heard many people say this too. I've asked, where'd you get that number? Silence. You don't hear anything. He will end pharmacare and tear down healthcare brick by brick until the only way you will get the care you need is if you can afford to pay for it. As we have just seen, he would rather fight with nurses than hire more of them. Everything Pierre Polyev does is designed to take from you and give to the ultra wealthy. There is a battle ahead of us, the fight for the Canada of our dreams, the fight against Pierre Polyev and his callous agenda of conservative cuts, the fight to restore hope, and the promise that working hard gets you a good life. I'm ready for that fight. Working hard gets you a good life. Well, he's admitted many, many times that if you make over 400 grand a year, which would happen to be just more than the prime minister makes, he's going to tax you at 80%. So he doesn't even mean what he says. He's not saying that, oh, if you work hard, you have a good life. If you make 400 grand a year, you're giving the government, what? What is that, 100? Or what are, you, what are you keeping over? Um, math isn't my strong suit. Let me pull out a, a calculator here. Probably should have done the math before, but let's... Um, so if you make 400,000 times 80%, Out of that four hundred grand, you got to pay him three hundred twenty thousand dollars, and pay him, and you get to keep eighty thousand dollars. Now, the argument to that would be, well, eighty thousand dollars is pretty good. You can live a life. Not really. If you own a house, eighty thousand dollars for your household income isn't that much, especially these days. It used to be a good amount of money, but even then, if you make four hundred grand, who the hell wants to pay someone eighty? Who, want, who the hell would want to keep only, only $80,000, give the corrupt government 80% of it, and they won't show you a single receipt? He's literally going to tax us into poverty and tell you that that is a dream come true. It's a joke. Now, after my, my little uh, math debacle, I don't know if I can call anyone stupid, but uh, let's be honest, Jugmeet Singh is pretty stupid. He, and he really believes these things that he's saying. I don't even know if he's really that corrupt. I think he's just a dummy who's just really good at following you know, orders from Justin Trudeau and whoever else is running the show behind the scenes. Maybe his bosses are the same as Justin Trudeau's bosses. I, I don't know, but it's he's not trying to help people at all. He's trying to ruin the entire economy. He's going to tax everyone to death. People who can afford to leave are going to leave, and then it's going to be us who's left to pay the bill which means he's then going to have to tax middle class and poor people a lot more than usual. Does that sound like a dream to you guys? doesn't sound like much of a dream to me. 
And then he comes in and says, because he wasn't done just after one, he says, tomorrow Parliament will vote on Leah Gazan's bill for framework for a guaranteed livable basic income. Food bank usage has skyrocketed. People are in need of help. We must address the struggles faced by Canadians. And this bill would do just that. The Liberals and Conservatives have a choice. Will they vote for the well-being of Canadians? Hey, Jugme, why don't you allow Canadians to decide what we want? You're propping up the very government you're complaining about. And if you think that Pierre Polyev is so bad, then why don't you just go out there and beat him in an election? Oh, wait, you can't. You're probably going to come in fourth place, and then you might get tossed out of your ass, on your ass. Not Maybe not in his by-election, but he'll probably be removed as leader if he go, comes in fourth place. They'll pick someone else. And then maybe he does lose his, lose his riding, no pension. I'm in this for Canadians to build a dream country and to give you guys some hope. He's in it for himself, guys. I've said it a million times. I'll say it again. Never trust a socialist, especially one wearing a gold watch. Sorry, a gold Rolex at that. With his Gucci bags, riding in limos, spent over $600,000 of taxpayer money for expenses. He's the leader of a failing party. Costs a lot of money to be a failure in this country, apparently. It's unbelievable. But again, Jagmeet Singh wants to continue to embarrass himself. He wants to continue to burn his party to the ground. Go ahead. The longer the, the we wait for an election, the better it is for conservatives. The liberals and the NDP coalition doesn't seem to realize that yet. The only thing they can do to save themselves from future embarrassments is to have an election now get it over with, or have an election in a year from now and lose even more seats than you're going to. Choice is yours, guys. And it looks like they're going to make the wrong ones, which unfortunately for us means we got to wait for another year. But again, I have a little bit of hope that maybe it'll happen sometime in the spring, but who knows? Uh, Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And uh, please, again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, It really does help me grow this channel. And also leave your comment section in the comments. Sorry, leave your comments in the comment section. Sorry, I had a long day tonight. I can't speak. I can't do math. But anyway, uh, definitely leave your comments in the comment section. I really do enjoy engaging uh, with you guys. Thanks so much for watching. and I'll be back shortly with a new video. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Also, just wanted to let you know and remind you that if you don't mind, I really uh, would appreciate you smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. It really, really helps the channel grow and you know further monetization. I really, really appreciate every single one of you who watch, like, subscribe, and comment, whether it's a positive or a negative comment. I always enjoy reading them. I enjoy hearing different people's perspectives. Uh, so thanks again so much, guys, for watching. I'll be back shortly with another video. Take care.